Welcome back everybody. So we are in peak week number two and we are three day, four days out. Four days out? Four days out, I believe. The fifth. <laughs> I, don't know. The first. I think it's four. Um, four sleeps. Four sleeps out. <laughs> we made it to Melbourne. So we just jumped off the plane. We had to get a shuttle to come and get the car. So it's been like a couple of hours, but I've got my meals with me and everything, so I'm all good. I'm not hungry. Um, so yeah, preparation is key, guys, um, when you're traveling on prep. Anyway, we're just heading to the Airbnb, and then we'll go get some groceries, and then he is mad road rage right now. It's funny that he's the hangry one. It's actually the funny bit. Anyway, so yeah, I think yeah, we'll just go back, chill, probably just watch a movie tonight, get an early night. I have a posing lesson with Nay tomorrow morning getting my hair washed so yeah i'll check in with you guys later um my food is like pretty much still the same so i will show you my dinner and stuff but like guys you've seen it a million times in all of my vlogs so <laughs> anyway um yeah i'll check me soon you guys we made it look how Fucking nice this Airbnb is. I'll give you a grand tour. <laughs> All right, it's, it's a hike. It's a hike though to my room. All right, it's three levels. This house is next level. So this is our room. We are on the third level, which is the top level. It's actually unreal. I'll show you the block. Bathroom. It's really nice. I'll show you the balcony. making a dandelion tea and then I'll get my rice cakes and honey for dessert oh my god we're just going to try and find something to watch I think we were thinking of watching Charlie's Angels but it looks like we might have to pay for it so I don't know if we're keen on that this Airbnb though is so beautiful <laughs> gym but I don't know what gym we're gonna go to I think maybe Doherty's in the city but don't know where to park we'll find somewhere how are you this morning it's coffee time I 
I just got a fresh blow dry, so I got them to straighten it. We've decided I'm gonna do straight hair for this show. I don't know, the curls I think are just not unsure about the curls. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be a different person at nationals, guys. I'm gonna look completely different. Yeah, so yeah, got it done. So now it should be super easy to just maintain and do it on the day. We're just having lunch and then I think we're gonna head into the city, do a little bit of shopping and then just chill the rest of the evening. Five one chicken's done. Um, chicken was taking forever, and then we went to line up for our tans, and the lineup was ridiculous. So we just decided to leave, and we're gonna go to a candy store and then go back. I'm inspired by thirst, I'm inspired by worth. I desire your worst, so you can just hide while I work. I ain't tired, you first. I'll write a second, third verse about the lies you go disperse. You never did, sh I know it hurts. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by all this. Tell me that I can't and I won't. That's what guides me the most. Do you lies, I'll do what I want. Good morning. It's show day. So yeah, we just got the whole team here. Claire is here from Glamfish, she's fixing my bikini up. Yep. Sizing it for me. She's got too shredded. Got too shredded. I mean, we didn't think we would have to adjust it, but oh, here we are. So your hair makeup is done. The other girls are already at the venue. I think we're just gonna film a bit of content here and then go, but I'm just choosing my jewelry. So this is what I've got. Thinking these rings, I forgot my actual engagement ring, which I'm sad about. So I'm thinking I'll just wear this <laughs> as a replacement. All right, so these are my choices. I don't know. Mm, I wore them at the SA show. I think I'll do these two, maybe these with the straight hair. I don't know, I'll have a look. Oh, I do like this. Um, thing. We went to Lavisa, and mm -hmm. she was like, oh, I'll see if I can find a replica over here. I'm like, what did you wrap it? This is where I bought it from. <laughs> this is literally great. These ones? Yeah, yeah. All right. These, These ones. Square. And they make you. They are. They are boring. Excellent. We're in a soft look today. Yeah. It's too hard. Backstage, guys, happening. All, uh, wellness, please make sure you've got your all happening in here. How are you going, Jessica? I'm so good. <laughs> Fucking kill. So excited. How are you, Simone? Are you doing good, Simone? Huh? Are you doing good? I'm doing good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you reckon I need to go over my hair? It's pretty straight, hey? I might go up
Because mine got third, by the way. Unreal. In true third novice. And true novice, was it? True novice. Third in true novice. Oh, I'm she such a proud mama bear. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So good. All right, guys, I've cracked open an energy drink. Oh my God, I've missed them so much. But yeah, just an update, no placing. I got first call out. It was like the toughest lineup, in my opinion. But guys, I slayed it. I absolutely slayed my routine, okay? I'm so happy. <laughs> I felt super like confident and chilled on stage and I just feel like my presentation was the best it ever has been. So yeah, I'm super happy. Alrighty guys, we are two days post show. We've just been living it up, <laughs> eating lots of food, doing lots of shopping. I just kind of took yesterday off from vlogging a little bit and a bit today as well. Like I just want to enjoy our time here and time just catching up with people and just, you know, soaking up everything and processing everything from the weekend as well. So post comp blues have hit me a little bit today i'm feeling a little bit down super normal um just sad that it's over like it's over so quickly but honestly sunday was so much fun and it was such good vibes all around backstage like all of the ladies were just so friendly so happy and i loved it and i think that's what this sport is really about it's about connecting with others and having a good time meeting people not kind of going in with the attitude of like i have to win this or it's not fun and you know obviously if you've been following my journey i've had wins but i've also had a lot of losses as well and it does really remind you of your why and i obviously compete because i really do love this sport and i'm super passionate about it so Sunday was incredible. I think they haven't announced the results yet, but I think I may have placed six. Um, so I got first call out and it was such a tough lineup. The quality of athletes these days is just seriously next level. I was talking to one of the coaches backstage and he was just like, all of you girls look so good he was like i just wouldn't even know how to judge it he was like you're just all like in insane all of you have super impressive physiques that it's just so tough it comes down to you know the really tiny like little things in the end so i'm unsure what my next move is at this stage i am really really keen on doing an international show um sometime this year I'm still really keen on giving IFBB Bikini a really solid shot. I disagree with my feedback from the SA show. I do not think I'm wellness at all and I've had multiple people reach out to me and they're just like, absolutely not. 
Um, do I have the best genetics for IFBB bikini? Probably not, but I'm still gonna try and just give it absolutely everything. Um, just so then I know that I've really given it 110% to achieve my goal. I have had quite a lot of people asking me if I'd consider changing federations. They're like, you know, you would look, you would do really well in FMG. Like, why don't you do FMG fitness and all of this stuff? And um, I am super interested, and I'm not going to um, like straight up say no. Um, that's not what I want to do. At this stage, it's not what I want to do. I am like, my heart really is with IFBB. But as I said, if you know, I give it everything I've got at least do an international show, see how I compare to international athletes. Um, then if I'm still, you know, unsuccessful, then I will really consider changing federation. But yeah, it was so much fun, guys. And my look on Sunday was just like, my absolute best look. The purple bikini, straight hair, that is me. And I think it suits me the best. I think it was my absolute best presentation ever. My makeup was so good. I went with just like a matte eye. Usually I'll do like a bit of glitter, but this time I did matte and it was really nice. Um, yeah, the tan was super dark. I also think like when my tan is not really dark, I don't look good at all. Like my tan has to be really, really dark. Um, so yeah, presentation I think for me was like on point and I just was super confident. Like I was just having a jolly good time on stage. I was just, I slayed it guys, <laughs> like I feel like I did anyway. Um, yeah, I just really soaked it all in. Like I was, when we were like on the sideline as well while my category was on, I was just taking it all in. I was watching the top three doing their thing and I was just like, yes, and they all looked fucking amazing. And um, yeah, so I really um, was living in the moment and it was, it was awesome. So yeah, that's basically my little update, little wrap up for this vlog. Um, yeah, sorry I haven't really vlogged much, like post comp, but I'm just living, just living. You know, sometimes you gotta stay off your phone and just be in the moment and stuff. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. I am going to film, because I've had a lot of requests for this, I'm going to film a what's in my comp day bag vlog and I think I'll just add that up separately and I'm gonna do it when I get home because like I said, we're just having a little, not a holiday because we're still working. We've still done like quite a lot of work today. We've got like check-ins, you know, we've got mindset, like um, customer service stuff to reply to. So, so yeah, stay tuned. If I do do an international show this year, I will absolutely vlog the journey for that as well because I know you guys on YouTube really, really love these videos and love following my journey, so that's what it's all about and you know what will happen if I never like if I stop vlogging or if there's a show that I don't vlog I'll like win I bet you and I'll be like I didn't vlog it <laughs> it'll just be the way so um yeah of course any shows moving forwards I will vlog but yeah thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions pop them below or any requests for videos pop them below as well and yeah thanks for watching bye Oh, quickly, actually, before I end this vlog, I just want to say a massive congratulations to all the girls that placed at Nationals, the girls that placed in my category. Like, everyone was unreal. Like, I'm not even joking. Um, Mel Fletcher, she won the pro card. Absolutely incredible physique. I'm so stoked that she won. I've been following her journey on socials as well, and <sighs> unreal. Just, like, her muscle development, like, she's just beautiful. So... Yeah, massive congratulations to everyone and yeah, lovely connecting with everyone and mm, yeah. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Bye.